and welcome to a new edition of Expat Living. Now in this week's episode, we're here in Ho Chi Minh City, the home base for many expat artists in the country, including this one, Jeremy Ginsberg, who is a... I'm a singer, songwriter, writer, blogger, and an entrepreneur. That's quite a mouthful. Yeah, I made that last word up. Cool. Anyway, so would you mind, uh, you know, kickstarting our little show with some of your sweet tunes? Of course. This is a song I wrote. It's called Just Breathe. It's about relaxing and taking life one step at a time. Why is life so fast? Can I please just take one second, one moment to relax? Hey, when can I escape? Can I please just take a break from this crazy mess inside my head? My thoughts tend to go too far. Trying to figure out how can I just focus on right now? I'm lost, trying to find my mind. Is it in the past or in the future? I think I've lost track of time. Just breathe, just breathe, just breathe after all. Life is now just breathe, just breathe, just breathe. After all, life is now fixated on the future, puzzled about the past, overlooking the present. It could have been a blast, but instead, I listened to what my mind said, creating problems out of nothing to be stored in my head. So many sounds and sensations I'm currently missing. Smells and feelings, I should have stopped and listened to my breath and let the stress digress, live in the moment until it overpowers the rest. I'm blessed, so might as well be grateful and proud and cherish every moment and just live in the now. Emanate joy from inside of you, there's only one thing you've got to do. Just breathe, just breathe, just breathe after all. Life is Welcome to Ho Chi Minh City, where the dynamic street life adds colour to artistic expressions. Here many musicians have found inspiration for their performances. Among these is an American artist who arrived in Vietnam in 2013. <laughs> It's a lot of energy in this city. You know, people are up early, out late, and it's yeah, it's a city that never sleeps, so it's always exciting. Everyone's doing something cool and different and has a different story to tell, so it's exciting, yeah, just to get out there. Jeremy quickly began to immerse himself in the local music scene with other street music lovers. Bài lên trên mọi người rồi rằng rằng lại bài lên theo nụ cười rằng lại bài lên cao bài lên cao như con cao oh 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 oh
They're super excited to hear music and they don't care. they want to let out and sing along and it's really fun to get into the crowd like that. And I also think it's just great that I can bridge the gap and sing some Vietnamese songs so it's it's like we're singing together rather than we're both singing in different languages that we don't understand. <laughs> khi có thêm anh ấy thì mọi người cảm thấy vui tươi hơn, sinh động hơn, mọi người cùng nhau hát được nhiều hơn và thoải mái hơn. Anh ấy rất là vui tính, anh ấy rất là hòa đồng và anh ấy rất là yêu âm nhạc. Anh ấy không ngại ngần tiếp xúc với mọi người để mà cùng hát với nhau và cùng vui với đùa với nhau bằng âm nhạc. Khi mà một người nước ngoài hát nhạc Việt đó, thì cảm thấy rất là vui Tại vì người ta có cái hứng thú với cái nền văn hóa của mình Và cảm thấy cái giữa những cái nền văn hóa không còn cái khoảng cách nữa Cảm thấy rất là gần gũi The American music artist also takes this opportunity to introduce his own tunes about life in Vietnam If you're hungry and you don't know what to eat And you're craving something cheap On the street it's time For a bowl of pho Pho bò, pho gà, thơ nam, da bắc Pho thai, pho chin, thì rẻ, thì mắc Ở Sà Lạt, ở Huế, Hà Nội, Sài Gòn Ở đâu cũng được ăn phở rất là ngon It's time for a bowl of phở Nếu khác bạn uống bia rồi rất là phê Sau khi đi hát, karaoke hãy cùng Đi ăn thôi, ăn phở It's time for a bowl of pho Yo, I'm a pho lover, you know how I know I eat it every morning, that's pho show A fanatic, nobody can doubt it And even if they did, then forget about it A photographer, that's my job Taking pictures of soup for the love of God Friend of pho, are you kidding? Cause having a phobia is forbidden So pop but I'm chilling, no room for spilling Cause nothing in this world is as pho Filling my soup lady hooks me up to pho One, cause we all know that girls just wanna have fun One pho, you and one pho, me But you gotta pay cause it ain't pho Free my pho, lots of makes my life better 24 7 from now until forever what the fuck To share his music even further Jeremy Ginsberg took it to the local bars where all the parties are at Ho Chi Minh City is known for its vibrant lifestyle. This is also a great opportunity for many local musician expats in the country to showcase their talent and meet the music and melodies of the party. Most of them, they are they real experience. I think it's most of it's really funny, and I understand how foreigners can 
you know, experience and also enjoy life in Vietnam. I kind of like it. I actually think Jeremy is really good. I like his, his his music. His songs are great. They're, they're they're nice to listen to. They feel make me feel good and relaxed. And I enjoy my night. Yeah, it does actually. It's been quite informative, which is good because I was thinking about living here anyway. So this has actually helped me out a bit. It's a good mix and blend between expats, Vietnamese locals, and also travelers and backpackers. So every single night is completely different with a unique and diverse crowd, and it keeps things exciting. What I, what I like most is bringing people together and making it feel like it's, it's not like a performance, but rather one big group of friends all sitting together, singing together, clapping together, having a good time, enjoying the night. Jeremy's hard work and distinct style in music will soon get him recognized by the local entertainment industry. Jeremy's charisma landed him several jobs on local television. One of those is hosting gig for MCV's La Pop Languivet, or Funny People's Class. Did we forget a friend? We have one more friend. Everybody. Then Jeremy conquered the judges on Taktuk Zeng Hai, a comedy challenge reality TV show. Tiếng Việt rất là khác nhau ở mỗi miền. Ví dụ ở miền Nam, mọi người nói là em nói tiếng Việt về thường quá. Về ở miền Bắc. Mọi người nói là em nói tiếng Việt rất tốt về ở miền Trung. Mọi người nói là mi anh chi mà ngu rửa. <cười> Following his success on several other shows, Jeremy realized his potential as an on-screen entertainer. He decided to open his own YouTube channel and receive strong support from other expert artists like French musician Max Harland. creative individual. You know, Jeremy's full of energy, like he has a very positive attitude, so it's always fun just, you know, to do jam, but also just, you know, to chat and just hang out with him. So sometimes if you're just like not so motivated or feeling a bit down, uh, he's the kind of person who's gonna like put a big smile on your face because just gotta be like, hey, what's going on? You know, big smile. It's great vlogging in Vietnam because it adds a twist to it. And I can show my life here in Vietnam through small snippets and it gets people curious. Music video is a unique angle to basically, it's basically a travel blog, but through music video. So it's so much more powerful and creative that I think it sticks with people and they get their songs stuck in their head and it's another way to, yeah, remind people about this cool country. <laughs> Across the street, I sweat uncontrollably due to the heat. Asian languages I just can't distinguish. I don't deserve to get paid to teach English. 
Cause I'm a foreigner in Southeast Asia I'm a foreigner in Southeast Asia Yeah, cause I'm a foreigner in Southeast Asia I'm just a foreigner in Southeast Asia I struggle with chopsticks when I eat noodles and rice I'm horrible at driving my motorbike At 165 it's an above average height People think I'm 50 when I have a beard My family back home thinks I'm really weird Cause I'm a foreigner in Southeast Asia Yeah, cause I'm a foreigner in Southeast Asia Within only three years, Jeremy's Vietnamese grew as quickly as his music talent. He also started helping other expats with their Vietnamese. Đúng rồi, chào anh. Chào anh. What do you think chào anh means? Hello. Chính xác. Đúng rồi, đúng rồi. What do you think đúng rồi means? Good job. Well, I felt like he was very engaging. I liked his energy. He made it fun. Um, and he also was throwing in little words along with what we asked him we wanted to learn so you know he was giving like a thumbs up and he was counting to three and so um, I felt like I was learning without really kind of knowing that I was learning <laughs> so that that made it fun also. People always tell me that oh Vietnamese people are so nice to you and friendly and I want that for other people. Most Vietnamese people really appreciate taking the effort and just learning a little bit of Vietnamese. Chuk chuk thoi. If you just learn a little bit, then most Vietnamese people are really excited. And it's really not that difficult. So when I see people that go from absolutely nothing, they don't know any Vietnamese, and just watch their mindset shift from I know nothing to oh, I'm going to make a, an effort and try. Oh, it's, it's quite rewarding. Being taught Vietnamese by one of their own is a unique experience for other English-speaking expats as well. So, if you're trying to not eat meat, you can say min an chai I eat vegetarian try that min an chai so if you want to eat meat you say min an tut min an tut you know for example one of the things that Jeremy taught was somebody something as simple as asking for your age you know that in the US I might have seen that as a little more um, intrusive or a little too private of a question for somebody that I just met. But here, you know, learning from Jeremy, he was able to tell me that, you know, that's just a basic question. It's just somebody trying to, to understand how to address you better. He was able to put me at ease. Now that you've witnessed the amazing inspiration that Ho Chi Minh City has on offer for musical artists like Jeremy Ginsberg, we'd like to bring you to our little section of timeouts with our reporter. <laughs>